Hi everyone, this is a review of the Tuscany Candle New Fall 2019 Wax Melt Scents. And if these look familiar, it's because last week I did a review of the Hudson 43 brand wax melts from Joanne Fabric. The Hudson, 40, Hudson 43 wax melts are made by Tuscany. And it just so happens that just about all of these scents are, most of these scents are uh, also being sold at Joanne Fabric. And the only difference is, um, here's the Hudson 43 brand, and here's the Tuscany brand. So you can see they are the same, except for the company name and the font is different, and of course the UPC code, but they are the same exact scent. And in fact, even the same throw, they're the same wax, I mean exactly the same. I just assume that maybe the Hudson 43 would be a little better because they were way more expensive, but nope, they're exactly the same. Um, the Hudson 43 at Joanne Fabric, $4.99 each, which is outrageous for 2.5 ounces of wax melts. When you can get them, you can get uh, Sensationals and Better Homes and Gardens wax melts at Walmart, 2.5 ounces for $2. So, and in general, Tuscany scents are kind of weak as far as the throw goes, however, these scents were fantastic. They were really strong, which is unusual for Tuscany. So I'm assuming that they maybe changed their wax melt formula. I don't know, but I mean, I've never, they've never been this strong before. But the Tuscany brand I found at Wegmans for $2.75. Same thing that sells for uh, $4.99 at Joanne Fabric and I kind of wish I had known, kind of wish I had found them, the Tuscany brand first before I went and I spent $4.99 on each of the Hudson 43 brand, but you know, live and learn. I found the Tuscany brand at Wegmans, but they're also sold at other stores, I think Menards and other grocery stores. I just don't know specifically which ones because they just kind of show up wherever. And so, I'm going to go through these quickly. The reviews are pretty much the, well, almost exactly the same as they were for the Joanne Fabric, um, the uh, Hudson 43 brand. Uh, the only difference is, let's see, there are a couple of Tuscany scents that I did not find at Joanne Fabric, and that's the berry picking and the cinnamon, citrus clove cider, Fireside, Pumpkin Spice Latte, and Vanilla Cinnamon Brulee. They did not have at Joanne Fabric. And there were two Joanne Fabric scents that I did not find in the Tuscany brand, and those were Candy Apple and Pumpkin and Acorns. So I only found those uh, at Joanne Fabric. However, they might still be out there in the Tuscany brand. They just might not have been available at Wegmans. So I'm just going to go through these quickly. I don't need to open them up because you can see them right through the through the wax, through the uh, package. I'm going to try to be as quick as possible. So we've got apple spice. Notes are fresh baked apple. This is a fake cinnamon apple air freshener type scent. It's not bad. It's just not sweet enough. And there are other similar scents out there that smell better. It might be the same as Tuscany Harvest Cider. Throw was... Uh, was not good. 2.5 out of 5 would probably only do well in a very small room. We've got berry picking. This one was not available in, in the Joanne Fabric Hudson 43 brand. Notes are fresh autumn berries. This is a sweet, slightly tart, fruity scent that smells like grape with maybe some cranberry and maybe a hint of raspberry. It might be the same scent as last year's Farmhouse Kitchen, which smelled like raspberry and grape juice. It's a nice scent and throw is very strong, four out of five. Cinnamon. Notes are warm cinnamon sweetened with sugar. It's cinnamon. It's a big red chewing gum or red hot cinnamon candy type cinnamon. Straight cinnamon. Throw, however, was weak, 2.5 out of five, which is really unusual for cinnamon. Cinnamon chai latte. Notes are robust and rich latte. This smells like sweet cinnamon and a smidgen of mocha, I think. I don't smell tea or chai, but I like it. It's, it's a nice, sweet, rich cinnamon scent. It's not a harsh or a big red type of cinnamon. 
and it smells kind of like a cinnamon roll without the bready note. Throw is very, uh, very, uh, very strong. Four out of five. Citrus clove cider. I only found this one in the Tuscany brand. Notes are warm clove and tangy orange. Clove and orange combined are the notes for orange pomander, which is a soapy, slightly sour scent that I don't like. And that's kind of what this is, but it has a little bit more of the citrusy orange note, which makes it more tolerable for me. I'm still not a fan. I think there's also a hint of apple, which makes it smell a little bit like sour apple cider. Throw was medium, three out of five. Copper leaves. Oh my gosh, this one is hoard worthy. I am stocking up on this one. Notes are crisp autumn air. This is a biting sour pine scent with a woodsy, slightly balsamic note and a hint of old brown apples, but not in a bad way. It smells kind of like Better Homes and Gardens crisp fall leaves, but I actually don't like that scent because of the sourness and there's something else in that scent that I don't like. I love this scent. It's not as sour as the crisp fall leaves. It's just absolutely perfect. It's a little smoky. It's absolutely fantastic. Uh, I'm just, I've been melting this like every day. Throw is bold. Five out of five. Took over the entire house. Fall festival. Notes are tangy autumn spices. This smells like a sweet pumpkin pie filling with extra cinnamon. It's quite nice. It smells better than a lot of other pumpkin-y scents out there. And it might be the same as Tuscany Fall Festival, I think, from last year. Throw was good. Uh, was um, strong. 3.5 out of 5. Farm stand cider. Notes are autumn apple cider. This smells like homemade fermented apple cider, like the opaque kind made with old brown apples and a little bit of a bitter sour note. It doesn't have the brown leaves or slight pine note that a lot of these types of scents have, which usually make the scent more interesting. I don't really care for this one. It might be the same as the old Tuscany cranberry apple cider, I think from last year, and the throw is strong 3.5 out of five. Next is Fireside. Notes are smoky notes of birch and pine. I've smelled this scent many times before. It smells like pine and smoky wood, and it's quite smoky, but it also has a little bit of that sour Play-Doh note. It smells a lot like the new Woodwick Candles Fireside scent, although this scent has a little less of the sour note and a little more of the authentic smoky note, even more so when melted. So it's actually a very, very nice scent. Um, throw is bold, five out of five. Took over the whole house. Next is Harvest Home. Notes are warm autumn spices. This smells just like the fall festival scent. Even the color of the wax is the same. Maybe it's just a smidgen sweeter. Um, throw is medium, three out of five. Patchouli honey. Notes are honey sweet honey. Tuscany Candle does have a patchouli scent, but that one is pure, rich, authentic patchouli. This one is a perfumey scent with an incense -y, floral and slightly woodsy notes. I do smell the honey as well, but if I didn't know it was in there, I might not know what it is. It smells a little bit like old perfume, but not in a bad way. It's a fantastic scent. Not what I was expecting based on the name. Throw is only medium, three out of five, but if it were a stronger thrower, this would ask, I would stock up on this one. Next is pumpkin apple. Notes are pumpkin and sugared apple. This is sweet pumpkin pie filling with a hint of apple. When it's melted though, I barely smell the apple. It's a nice, rich scent. I think it's the same as Tuscany pumpkin apple from last year, but not the same as the Tuscany pumpkin apple from 2017. And the throw is bold, five out of five. Pumpkin spice. Notes are pumpkin, clove, and cinnamon. This is a rich, yummy, sweet scent of cinnamon, cloves, and nutmeg, which are pumpkin spices, and maybe a hint of molasses. It smells more like the pumpkin pie filling than the pie itself. It's similar to the fall festival scent, but fall festival is mostly cinnamon, while I think this one has more nutmeg. And the throw is strong, 3.5 out of 5. Next is pumpkin spice latte. Notes are perfect pumpkin roast. This one was not available in the Joanne Fabric scent. And this is definitely a coffee scent but it's not like a harsh dark burnt coffee and it's not a sweet sweet fake coffee either it's a perfect coffee with sweet milky cream I don't know if I detect pumpkin spices but if they're in there they're way in the background it's an amazing scent in fact I'm almost positive that's the same scent 
as Sonoma Pumpkin Latte from Kohl's from 2015, but not the same as the newer Sonoma Vanilla Pumpkin Latte, which has a sweet buttercream and caramel note. And the reason why I think it's the same as the Sonoma Pumpkin Latte is because the company that makes Tuscany Campbell Candle, which is called um, Empire Can or Empire Empire Brands, also makes the Sonoma wax from Kohl's. Fantastic scent. Uh, the Kohl's version was a super strong thrower. This one, however, throw was weak. 2.5 out of 5 would only work in a tiny room. Next is spiced pear. Notes are fall spices and pear. This smells almost exact. Well, smells not exact. Smells a lot like the Joanne Fabric Candy Apple scent. Um, even the wax is the same color. This is a very salty, like a buttered popcorn scent with just a hint of caramel. It's fantastic, and it smells almost exactly like Sensational's Pumpkin Apple Muffins. It's uh, it's definitely the same as last year's Tuscany Spiced Pear. Throw is good. Is strong 3.5 out of 5 and last is vanilla cinnamon brulee notes are vanilla cinnamon and allspice this scent has been around for years I'm not sure if it's actually part of the new fall lineup it's kind of a nondescript cinnamon bakery scent with a hint of ginger it's not a rich buttery cinnamon roll scent nor is it a harsh big red gum type cinnamon maybe more like a little bit gingerbready kind of um, it's an okay scent for me a throw is um, medium three out of five so there you have it if you want to read a text version of this review just go to waxmeltreviews.com and feel free to join our facebook group group where we discuss all different brands and scents of store-bought and retail wax melts you can find the link to our facebook group underneath this video and also on our website at waxmeltreviews.com have a good day